Hi guys, it's Zachary Joseph Rito, and today we have a Pilates mat workout. It is geared towards all levels of fitness, beginner, intermediate. Uh, you just need a mat and yourself. If you are new here, please be sure to click the subscribe button as I post new workouts. Um, so be a subscriber so you're in the loop. Grab your mat and let's do this Pilates 20 minute mat workout together. Starting on our hands and knees, we'll place hands on their shoulders and knees under hips, and you can relax the toes on the floor. We'll start with cat cow, so round the spine, pull the navel in, tuck the chin, really arch your back, and then big exhale, look up at the sky as you extend. So you round, pulling that navel in, and then take a big exhale as you let it out to the sky. So I'm gonna lead you through this 20 minute mat Pilates workout. Exhale up, we're gonna kind of Work our core, legs, glutes, abs, to the works. Big exhale, look up. We'll do that one more time for me. Round the spine, pull that needle in, tuck, 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 tuck. Closing the ribcage and then exhale, expanding and lifting the sky. Let's come to a neutral position, so really stay grounded. And we'll start by circling clockwise. You can have a soft bend in the elbows. And you're just moving those hips in a circular motion. Uh, gripping both fingertips heavy into that mat. And let's reverse counterclockwise the other way. Keeping that long, nice and long spine nice and long. And don't forget to breathe. It's always important. <laughs> All right, one more like that, circle. And great, let's come on to our toes now. So walk your feet back and you're in that high plank. You need to modify the lower onto your knees again, pushing the palms into the mat. I want you to retract the shoulders so we drop the chest an inch and then push away as you expand. So we drop the shoulders a little bit and then push away. Modify on the knees, drop the shoulder, exhale, push away. Drop the shoulder, breathe down and then push away. So actively pushing off the floor, relax your chest from the mat, you bend the elbows, push away, four more, four, exhale, three, exhale, two, and one more. Nice, and come back onto your knees, child's pose. I should also say, if you ever want to fold your mat and half put it on our hands and knees, you can always do that as an option as well. Let's come back onto hands and knees. Let's lengthen your left leg long and extend your right arm in front. Pull the navel in, eyesight to the floor. We lift opposite arm, opposite leg, and then back down. We lift and lower. So reaching your fingertips in the opposite leg, lift, tap the floor, big exhale, lift. Inhale down, exhale up, and lower. So stabilizing that core, working our back strength, mobility. Two more, lift, and reset. Other side, so opposite leg and opposite arm extends. Chin down, push away from the floor, we lift. Up and down, and think about long lines here. Reaching as if you're holding someone's hand, reaching out to catch someone. Lift and lower. Exhale. Inhale down. You want your eye line to look to the floor so that you're not overextending your neck because that puts pressure. So always think of a neutral spine. Anytime you're in like a plank or a tabletop, always just imagine as if your lines are nice and straight. You don't want any curve in that back. Two more, lift and lower, last one, and down, good. Let's swivel and take a seat onto our sit bones. And you can kind of be in the middle of your mat or whatever feels most comfortable. Feet on the floor, hip distance, let's start by rounding the spine, roll down with control for three, two, one, and down, great. So, feet on the floor, hip distance, Pull the belly button up to sky, draw the tailbone down. Think about closing that rib cage as you take the fingertips behind the base of the head, elbows are staying wide. Tuck the chin, and we'll lift the head and the shoulders off the mat. Exhale, and then we're lowering back down. So we lift up for two, down 
down. Exhale, shh, and inhale back down. Lift the head, neck, shoulders, reset back down. And as we curl, I want you to really press the heels into that mat. And you're keeping your lower body, your upper body real in control. So no swaying. We're focusing on that ab crunch as we take it up. Exhaling back down. Give me four. And lower. Exhale, three. Really tight, tight, tight. Two more. Last one, and lower. Good, let's take the arms to the floor, drive your left and right knee in the tabletop position. In this position, tap your right toe to the floor, drive the knee back on your hip. Take the left foot to the floor, drive it back underneath the hip. Again, you take your right, exhale, bring it in. Take your left, exhale, bring it in. So tapping one foot at a time, tabletop, tap, tabletop. So you want to keep pressure in the back, so your tailbone's on the floor, that thing's rounding off that floor, right? If you do want a challenge, you can engage by lifting the head, neck, shoulders off the mat, and do this exact same set in that curl position from earlier. So tap, exhale, drive up, inhale down, exhale, come up, perfect. Down, and lift, lower, and lift, four more, four, exhale, shh, three, exhale, shh, two, one, and lower the head, neck, shoulders, lower the right foot, and left. We'll come back into that curl position, so lift, 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 take your right shoulder to the left knee, and then back down halfway, switch other shoulder opposite knee, come halfway down. So we twist to one side, lower, lower, twist up to other side, lower. Good, to the side, exhale, inhale down, exhale up, inhale lower, and lift as much as you can side to side, reaching your shoulder more than the elbow. So the goal is to get Shoulder to the knee and not elbow. You need four and lower three and lower two more. One more. Good. Curl center. Take it up halfway down. Lift halfway down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale for eight. Seven, six, five, hold on, in four, three, two, and one, and lower down. Good, let's take those arms to the floor, weight into your heels again, let's come into full bridge. So we lift up to the sky, lower to hover the floor, press up to ceiling, hover the floor. So you always wanna to try to hover the glutes so you're really working more and more of the glutes and keeping that work effort alive. Now if you want a challenge, you can always keep elbows to floor and palms facing each other. And if you want even more of a challenge, arms can float all the way into the sky. Lift for two, cover for two. Press and lower and focus on breath. Exhale, shh. inhale, lower. Exhale up. Good, all right, let's pulse at the top for three, two, one, and hover. Three, two, one, and hover. Again, three, press two, press one, hover, three. Now let's hold the bridge in tiny pulse. Pulse, one, and two, four, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one, rest the arms down by the side. Everyone, let's bring your right leg to the ceiling. You're still in that high bridge. Lower the right leg down, and then exhale, lift up. Point the foot to lower, flex to kick. So point to lower, flex, kick. Point, flex, kick. You're holding this high bridge for four, three, 
three, two, last one. Good, point the foot, eight circles. Eight, seven, six, tennis ball size. Four, three, two, and reverse. Eight, six, keep those hips centered. In four, just the leg moves. Three, two, we keep it pointed, pulsing bridge. And imagine you're gonna pop a balloon with your toes. That's how pointed your feet are. For eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two. Hold the bridge carefully lower. We'll take your opposite leg to the sky. Oh, you can feel that burn. I hope you do. Point that foot, lower it down. Flex to kick, lower down. Flex to kick, inhale down. So again, you're in that high bridge. We lower and lift that top leg. Exhale, four more, four, and lift. Three, get two more. Last one. Good, all right, point the foot, circle for eight, seven, six, five, and four. Three, two, and reverse. Eight, six, four, three, two. Let's pop the balloon. Pop, pop. And I honestly don't really like popping balloons. <laughs> it really scares me. So I think I need to pick a better description of what we're doing. But lift and try to reach the toes to the sky for eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, Two, one, carefully lower and all the way down. Nice guys, we're officially halfway, so 10 minutes left, you got this. Rock your back side to side, and man, my glutes are feeling spicy. Don't need to do a lot, right, to really fire up your legs. Let's bring the knees, I'm gonna move back a little bit just so I have some space, you too, you can do that as well. Knees are tight, lift the head, neck, shoulders off the mat. Hover your one leg, and then pull your opposite knee into chest. Hands can go by the calves or around the shins. Holding twice for one, two, switch. One, two, switch. Pull, pull, switch. Switch. So it's exhale, exhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, switch. To modify, head can stay on the floor the entire time. Or you can have one hand behind the head. Pull, pull, switch. Everyone can do this move, okay? Switch. Switch. Four, three, I said looking through the toes. Two, one, singles. Right, left, right, left. Shh, shh. If you want even more of a challenge, no hands for eight, seven, six, long legs. Five, switch. Four, three, two, and one, knees to chest, rock your spine side to side. All right, let's bring the knees back under your hips in that tabletop position. Lift the head, neck, shoulders off the mat again. Hover your arms to the floor, lift one entire 100 pumps. In, two, three, four, exhale, shh, shh, shh. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, shh, shh, shh. In, two, three, four, shh, 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 shh. In, two, three, four, shh, 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 shh. Inhale, two, three, four, option head to floor. In, two, three, four, or one hand behind the head. Really strong arms here, exhale, shh, 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 shh. Can you lift one inch higher? Exhale, shh, shh. Four more, four, three, two, one, shh, 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 shh. Three, two, three, one, shh, shh, shh. Two, two, three, one. Last one, best one. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Shh, shh, shh. Your head knees down. Good. All right. Let us take your legs straight to sky. Point your feet for me and then arms to the floor. Good. Super glue your thighs and toes together. We'll lower into a low diagonal. I want you to open up just about mat distance. Close the legs at the top. So we'll lower, open that distance, legs squeeze together, lower back down. Now, if you want to make this more challenging, 
Think about lowering your legs even more to the floor. Keep opening it just that distance. Squeeze together. Biggest challenge here, if you want to lift the head, neck, shoulders up and that, this is how you really work the abs. And what's so great about this workout is you can do this as many times as you want, and maybe you come back to this in a couple weeks, or the next day, or four days from now, and maybe you try the extension with the head, neck, shoulders. One more. Let's reverse the direction now, so we open out first. Mat distance, close at the bottom, exhale to lift. And again, modify, just head to floor. And you can bend the knees if your hip flexors are tight. So feel free to bend the knees and then lengthen back up, okay? Lots of options. I'm an options kind of guy. I need to go to a restaurant and that menu needs to have options. <laughs> I'm not a fan of a set meal. I like to know, can I switch this out? Can I try this? Is that high maintenance? You let me know in the comments. Hopefully it's not. I think it's knowing what you want. And I'm all about getting what I deserve and what I think I want, right? <laughs> Four more, that sounds really privileged. <laughs> Three more. Three, I'm really down to earth, I promise. Two more. Two, exhale up. One more, open and close. Nice, knees to chest, rock your back side to side again. Let's roll yourself up back onto your side bones. Let's come onto our um, side body here. So either way, either left or right, just come onto your side body and have your knees and shins stacked side by side. We're gonna open your top knee, open for a clamshell and close. So we'll lift and lower. You can rest your ear into bicep if that feels more comfortable or just hand into head. No, we're not here for very long. So we're focused on some movements here. So keeping your upper body still, we just lift and lower. Exhale, inhale. Up and down. Lift, lower. Eight, seven, four more, four, three, two, and let's pulse the knee in the sky. Take it one, two, one, two. Tiny little lifts. Take it up and down, up and down for eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one. Let's lower, extend the leg out. Good. Tiny circles. Eight, seven, right from the hip. Six, five, four, three, two, and reverse, eight, six, four, three, two, little pulse the leg, up, down, up, down, shh, shh, lift, 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 that's it, four, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, one, bring it in and come up, let's switch other side, so, Little break dancer move there for you. <laughs> On your opposite side, have those knees and shins stacked side by side again, head into ear or head into bicep, whatever feels best. Knees together, we open and close. Exhale, inhale. Lift and lower. And what I love about Pilates or any kind of mat based exercises or workouts, especially the ones that I post here on YouTube, is that. Anyone can do them. They are low impact, so you're not injuring yourself. We're not jumping around. We don't need to do all that, okay? You know, the time and place for you to do cardio, for you to do high intensity exercises, but it's something you do every day, right? High intensity exercising is meant to be, you know, maybe like twice a week, three, four times like max. I know in this day and age, it's all kind of like, go, 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 see how hard you can push yourself. And I'm here to tell you, if you do the work, and are just consistent with it, and you keep coming back and doing these kind of exercises that actually rejuvenate your muscles and, and bones and makes your body lengthen, you're on the right path. Let's pulse the top, lift, lift. And I feel like I'm, you guys might be rolling your eyes like, how old is this kid? What does he mean? What is he talking about? Like, <laughs> listen, I'm old, I'm not that young. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, you, you can figure out how old I am, but, 
I'm just saying, you know, I notice as we get older, uh, things start to break down, you know, muscle breaks down and we get more fatigued and sore and injuries. So just be safe with your body, right? Just be kind. That's the biggest message I just want to There is be kind to yourself and your body. It's one thing you can take control of, right? So treat it nice and with respect. The lower back down, let's lengthen that leg. Give me eight circles. Eight, seven, six, five, and four. Three, two, and reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and let's pulse at the top. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Shh. Exhale, up, down, up, down, one, and two, eight, six, don't forget to breathe, four, three, two, one, and bend it down, nice guys, all right, we're going to come onto our forearm plank, this is kind of our last series here, so elbows under shoulders, you guys lengthen those legs out nice and long, and then hold this plank. Good. Pushing the forearms away, modify it on the knees. I just want you to rock forward and back. Forward and back. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and let's hold the plank here together, really push the forearms. This is how we finish, guys. You either stay here or can you lift your one foot off the floor, back down, switch opposite leg off the floor, back down, again, lift, and lower, just give me a regular plank. You don't have to do this, it's just an extra challenge. Four more to finish, four, lower, three, that's two, one, and on your knees. Big, big child's pose. Reach those arms long. Take a deep inhale, gonna fill the space in your back. Big exhale. Good. Let's come on to hands and knees. Just give me that cat cow again around the spine. Look at the navel. Big exhale, look up. It always feels so good to do this after. Inhale. Big exhale. And come on to your knees, roll those shoulders back. And give yourself a big round of applause. You guys did so good. Uh, thank you so much for working out with me. If you are new here, uh, click that subscribe button. What are you doing? Uh, make sure you're subscribed and it really helps support me and the channel. So click that subscribe button if you do want to know more information uh, about everything. Just leave me a message in the comment. I can answer any questions that you have. And if you do want to help donate, I have a PayPal link as well in the description box. Stay subscribed. New content coming soon. Check out my Instagram and I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye.